Hey guys, welcome to Homesteading Through Eyes. Today we're going to talk about building a log rack for our firewood. Rather than going out and buying a wood rack or a log rack, a little cheesy metal one, uh, they do make better ones, but they're quite expensive. Uh, we're just going to use some of the Douglas fir indoor wood that was supplied with the yurt. And we're going to go ahead and install that to the rafters as well as make some arm supports for the studs. Um, before we get going, we're going to uh, eat a little lunch though. Our squashes are ready and looking delicious, so we'll eat a little lunch and we'll get back to you soon. Synchronistically, the boards that I had in the yurt are perfect for the place I need them. They're about a foot and a half away from the yurt wall, and they're about eight feet tall. Um, both the boards are the same length, and now I'm simply placing them where they're pretty much level, and um, sure that the vinyl is not going to touch the top of this board so I moved it out so the vinyl will not touch the top of this board at all leveling it up this way as well as this way and then what I plan to do next is drill pilot holes between this board in this board as well as the rafter board and then I will simply install screws through the pilot holes into the rafter board and then I'll have my first post. I leveled these up and made them plumb. I also threw two screws in the top here and then I added an arm extended to the beam here for extra support. I threw three screws in down there and three screws in down there. Take you up for a closer look here. Just used the drill and used a drill bit first for a pilot hole because Douglas fir tends to split and then went ahead and put two screws in that side and then came around to the back side threw one screw in there Next, I plan to put a table along the bottom here, flat table, and maybe raise the sides up a couple inches just for a debris holder. And we'll end up with about a six by three foot box that hopefully will be able to hold wood right up to the chimney pipe and that stands probably about five feet so stepping back again checking it out we'll be able to place a good amount of wood behind the stove up and over and in this box we got the project finished there wasn't much more to do so I didn't want to add more video than I needed to but it looks nice um, we don't even have it a quarter of the way filled up that we could. There's only one row. Uh, I ended up putting a platform down out of a piece of plywood that we had used for many different purposes. And we're pleased with it. 
It works really well. It's really nice. It dries the wood. It keeps it out of the way. Up off the ground a little bit. And as you can see, we also started to add a little bit of uh, laminate tile in here just to make it a little less rough on the wood floor and a little easier to clean since we literally clean this place like two times a day during the winter, maybe even more. Um, the one leg went on to the one tile spot, so instead of building it first and dealing with it, I ended up just putting in the tile real quick. We're going to finish it off and extend it and make it square all the way along. The tile was free from my grandfather, like a bunch of other stuff we had had, so it was just sitting around, and rather than not use it, we figured we'd just use it. Uh, if we don't like it, we could always just take it up and get rid of it. Just want to take you around the back here to show you the platform. So there's a platform going from the front and extending a couple inches past, or from the back, excuse me, and extending a couple inches past the front. I also added a leg for extra support in the front. There's also a 2x4 piece that runs in the middle of the top platform. Again, just for some extra support. There's also an arm in the middle on the back. One side supported by the yurt. One side is supported by an extra beam and a rafter. So as I said, we're really happy with how it came out. It didn't take much. It was all stuff that we had had laying around and we needed a wood rack. So we're glad we got that done. On to the next project. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. Peace.